Hey there. It's time for another episode of Poets Playpen, where we take the English language, we stretch it out like silly putty, and we see what we can do. We see what fun we can have with words and where we can take it, because the imagination is our only limitation in the Poets Playpen. And today what we're doing, we're reviewing the book Fifty Shades of Grey by the British author E.L. James. And this was a, a number one New York Times bestseller, so please keep in mind as I'm reading this to you that this book was the new, number one New York Times bestseller and that um, probably your parents or one of your, you know, somebody related to your aunt or something bought this book and they probably read it with your, your uncle or your dad or, or whoever um, in an attempt to spice up the relationship. Now, this is a great book. This book follows the, the, the exploits of Christian... Gray, the CEO of Christian Gray Holdings Incorporated, who is a dashing uh, man, a cosmopolitan man who has just the, he has got power at his fingertips, but there's one thing that he wants, and that's Anastasia Steele, who's uh, some sloppy bitch. Um, now, in their relationship, this is a special type of relationship. It's called a BDSM relationship, which means that they. Um, they do cosplay, and they uh, have uh, scat sex, and they do all kinds of crazy stuff that you and I don't do, right? Okay, now here's, here are the rules. This is the first excerpt that I'm going to read. And then when I read these excerpts, I want to I first point out that, um, uh, that I don't make any claim to own the copyright of this. Like all the other people on YouTube posting um, copyrighted, mater copyrighted material saying, uh, I don't claim any ownership over this. I'm just posting it for entertainment purposes like that somehow absolves you of any wrongdoing and the, U the YouTube police won't come get you so I don't own any copyrights on this book I'm just reading it um, rules obedience the submissive will obey any instructions given by the dominant immediately without hesitation or reservation and in an expeditious manner the submissive will agree to any sexual activity deemed fit and pleasurable by the dominant Accepting those activities that are outlined in Hard Limits, Appendix 2. She will do so eagerly and without hesitation. Number one, New York Times bestseller. You can almost smell the, uh, the apartment or the flat of the British woman. You can smell the cat shit and the, um, the leftover food as she's writing this. Um, who boy. So that's the first excerpt. This is a great book, and I recommend that all families sit down and read this together. Here we go. Ooh, this is a good excerpt right here. Oh boy, here we go. My inner goddess frowns at me. You can do this, she coaxes. Play this sex god at his own game. Can I? Okay. What to do? My inexperience is an albatross around my neck. Ooh, like a little bit of Wordsworth in there? Is that some... That's... Ooh. The, this, this book will heat you up and then cool you down. Picking up a spear of asparagus, I gaze at him and bite my lip. Then, very slowly, put the tip of my cold asparagus in my mouth and suck it. Christian's eyes widen infinitesimally, but I notice. Anastasia, what are you doing? I bite off the tip. Eating my asparagus? Christian shifts in his seat. I think you're toying with me, Miss Steele. I feign innocence. I'm just finishing my food, Mr. Gray. Now this is a perfect example of how the author of Fifty Shades of Gray Oh, you're talking smooth. Uses just the intricate wordplay and uh, she's her mastery of the English language titillates in, in an exquisite way. Here we go. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this, this crazy fucked up love story. His hand swoops up and grabs mine, but he softens the blow by pulling it to his mouth and sweetly kissing my knuckles. He rolls over so he's gazing down at me. Don't, he murmurs, then kisses me lightly. Why don't you like to be touched? I whisper, staring up into soft gray eyes. Because I'm Fifty Shades of Fucked Up, Anastasia. Oh, his honesty is completely disarming. I blink up at him. I had a very tough introduction to life. 
I don't want to burden you with the details. Just don't. He strokes his nose against mine, and then he pulls, pulls out of me and sits up. Wow. Are you excited? I'm excited. I think I need to take a bathroom break. If you need to go to the bathroom right now, pause the video and come back. I'll wait. Okay. Last excerpt. Here we go. Where is it here? Where are we going? Oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh. I can just, that's almost, I can just look anywhere and it's lava hot. His hands, feeling my skin as he would. It's experiencing how arousing it is. Just his touch and his calm, soft commands. That's right, baby, he murmurs. He guides my hands down the sides of my body, past my waist to my hips, and across to my pubic hair. He slides his leg in between mine, pushing my feet further apart, widening my stance, and runs his hands over my sex, one hand at a time in turn, setting up a rhythm. It is so erotic. Truly, I am a marionette, and he is the master puppeteer. Just to prove that I'm not making this up, that is written right there. Look at you glow, Anastasia, he, whisper, he whispers as he trails kisses and soft bites along my shoulder. I groan. Suddenly he lets me go. Carry on, he orders, and stands back watching me. I rub myself. No, I want him to do it. It doesn't feel the same. Wow, guys. You know what, I was planning on reading a little bit more, but I think I'm going to have to finish the rest of this in private. This book cost... $16. $16 of real money was spent on this book. Somebody spent $16 on this book. The end of the story.